Superboy Prime, formerly known as Superman Prime, whose real name is Clark Kent, is the version of Superman native to Earth Prime. On his Earth, all the familiar superheroes of the DC Universe are comic book characters, and Clark seems to be the only real one. He was in love with his friend Lori. During Infinite Crisis, he became obsessed with revenge, and became a bloodthirsty villain, killing many heroes of our Earth, including Superboy. Clark Kent grew up being made fun of for sharing a name with the comic book character, Superman. His world had no versions of Superman's friends, however. Clark developed a strong friendship with Lori, and had romantic interest in her, but was too shy to act on it. Once she got a boyfriend, their friendship was strained. Clark eventually learned he actually had powers, just like Superman, his favorite comic book hero. It was then that he encountered the Superman of Earth-1. Superboy Prime helped defeat the Anti-Monitor, and subsequently went with Alexander Luther, Jr., Kal-El, and Lois Lane from Earth-2 to a paradise dimension, where he stayed for years. Superboy Prime is from the universe known as Earth Prime, in which DC heroes are fictional comic book characters. He is the adopted son of Jerry and Naomi Kent. Naomi wanted to name her newborn son, Clark, in honor of her surname, but Jerry decided that the child would have the same name as Superman. What the Kents didn't know is that the baby, found abandoned in a forest, is actually young Kal-El, who was teleported to Earth by his father, Jor-El, moments before the planet Krypton was destroyed when its red sun was converted into a supernova. His biological parents, however, were unable to flee, citation needed. Young Clark lived the first 15 years of his life as a normal boy. However, one night, while attending a Halloween costume party dressed as Superboy, the passing of Halley's Comet triggers his Kryptonian powers. At the same time, Superman from Earth-1 finds his way to Earth-Prime and the two versions of the hero meet and during an adventure Superboy Prime uses his abilities to stop a giant wave. Superboy Prime participated in the Crisis on Infinite Earths in response to the destruction of his universe. Even though he was distressed at losing everything he knew, he found comfort in knowing that he would fight for his life alongside the other heroes. During the battle against the Anti-Monitor, Earth-2 Superman orders him to flee along with Alexander Luther Jr. and the other heroes. Afraid that Kal-El would die in battle, and knowing that the new Earth is not his true home, Superboy joins Golden Age Superman in battle against the Anti-Monitor. After destroying the Anti-Monitor, Superboy decides to join Alexander Luther Jr. from Earth-3, Superman from Earth-2, and his wife Lois Lane in a paradisiacal dimension. In the Paradise Dimension, Primordial isolates himself from others using crystals to review facts from his life on Primordial Earth. Frustrated and angry, the young man tries to sensitize Kal-El, whose attention is focused on Lois Lane's fragile health. Alexander comes to believe that the reason behind Lois' fragile health is the Paradise Dimension itself and convinces the young Kryptonian to help him return to reality by showing Superboy Prime the negative aspects of post-crisis Earth. Superboy Prime hesitates until he overhears Kal-El say, I wish this world would let him grow up. He'll never be Superman here. Finally, Alexander shows him the death of his parents and girlfriend in an automobile accident on post-crisis Earth. Superman from Earth 2 opens a portal to the DC Universe and the four residents of the Paradise Dimension return and announce their existence to Power Girl and Batman. When introduced to Power Girl, he calls himself Superboy Prime for the first time. Next, Kal-El tells his cousin, when the universe was reborn, Earth-1 became the primary world. The remains of the remaining worlds were folded. But I finally realized, we saved the wrong Earth. Superboy Prime is jealous of Connor Kent, the modern version of Superboy, believing that he is living a life he does not deserve and does not even fight to preserve it. He also believes that Earth's heroes act more like villains. Superboy Prime confronts his twin, telling him that he, Superboy Prime, is the only Superboy Earth needs. Prime brutally attacks Connor, 
but not before he sends a distress signal to the Titans. The Teen Titans, the Doom Patrol, and the Justice Society of America arrive to help Connor. After accidentally killing Panda with a deadly punch, Superboy Prime is shocked and horrified as the heroes try to restrain him, which kills, Wildebeest and Bushido, or wounds, ripped off Risk's arm and beat most of the rest, several others. With no other options, Jay Garrick, Wally West and Bart Allen trap Superboy Prime in the Speed Force, banishing him to a parallel world and imprisoning him in a facility bathed in artificial sunlight, where he remains for four years. Hours later, an older version of Bart Allen, dressed in his grandfather's costume, emerges from the Speed Force and asks the heroine Dr. Light to warn the other heroes about the escape of Superboy Prime who reappears during a battle between Alexander Luther Jr. and the heroes freed from the Multiversal Tower using a power suit modeled after the Anti-Monitor's armor in order to power the young insurgent's body with yellow solar energy and increase his power levels. During the battle, Black Adam discovers that his magic has little effect against Superboy Prime who knocks his opponent off the tower causing the latter to be transported to Earth S. Prime insists that Luther re-establish Earth Prime as the only one in existence. When the villain tries to kill Wonder Girl, a furious Connor Kent appears to stop him. The battle between Connor and Superboy Prime damages Alexander Luther's vibrational tuning fork causing the machine to explode and resulting in the alternate Earths merging into one. Connor dies from injuries sustained during the explosion, leaving the rest of the superheroes devastated. Alexander and Superboy Prime join the Battle of Metropolis and fight over their contingency plan. Since his tower was destroyed, Alexander is prepared to seize New Earth instead of creating a perfect Earth. Upon hearing about the new plan, Superboy Prime refuses to help Alex, as he believes New Earth is hopelessly inferior. When Batman, Wonder Woman, Kal-El and Kal-El arrive to save Metropolis, Kal-El confronts Alex about his role in the destruction. Meanwhile, Superboy Prime is attacked by Bart Allen, who was outraged by Connor's death. Superboy Prime escapes from Bart and flies towards OA with the intention of destroying him and causing another Big Bang that would recreate the universe with himself as the only hero. Although most of Earth's heroes are in pursuit, Superboy Prime evades capture. Slowed by a 300-mile wall of sheer willpower generated by the Green Lantern Corps, Prime breaks through and kills 32 Green Lanterns. The two Supermen arrive and walk through Krypton's Red Sun, the heat of which melts Superboy Prime's armor and severely weakens all three Kryptonians, who then fall into Mogo. Superboy Prime beats Kal-El to death, but is attacked by Kal-El. Superboy Prime claims that he is better than Kal-El, and that his Krypton was superior to Kal-El's. Kal-El responds, it's not about where you were born, or what powers you have or what you wear on your chest. It's about what you do. It's about action. Despite being nearly powerless, Kal-El knocks Superboy Prime down before collapsing, but members of the Green Lantern Corps manage to save Kal-El. Superboy Prime is then taken into the custody of the Guardians of the Universe, who place him in a quantum containment field, surrounded by a red sun eater and guarded by 50 lanterns. While inside his cell, he draws the Superman symbol on his chest. OS Poderes de Superman Prime de Terra Prime Sal OS Mesmos K Averso Prechrist de Superman M Historius Recents, Sendo Asim Mace Forte K Todas as Outras Versos Juntas. ELE Teve Forza Sufficient Para Tirar O Planeta Randa SUE Orbita Merriment Por and Perilo. Como ELE Era de Outra Dimenso, as Kryptonitas de Nosa Dimenso Neo o Afitam. ELE Tamba Malega Serin Vulnerable a Magia. As Unicas Mineras de Derodolo Parisum Ser o Sol Vermelho, K. Escota Sus Poderes.